counter, and the casino spacecraft is on its way. I think that within the 21st century, we're going to be able to start living in on other planets and on other bodies and having a broader view of what's going on with our own solar system. It's going to be fantastic, and I think we're now beginning to have the means to do that journey. Astrophysicist Athena Kustinis has spent her career exploring other worlds. Born in Greece, she now lives and works in France, researching the atmospheres and surfaces of our solar system. The author of more than 100 scientific articles and two books on Titan, she has described a near future in which humankind will live in space and roam freely through the solar system. Euronews met Dr. Kustinis at the Paris Observatory, where she analyzes the data received from the Cassini-Huygens mission to Saturn, a project in which she remains closely involved. How did you feel that night when the Huygens probe descended towards Titan's surface? The night came in and we were waiting for the first data to come in and it, there's a lot of excitement. I can tell you some of us hadn't eaten, slept, I don't know for how much time and we're waiting and it took the longest time in the world I think. Probably got there just on time but for me it was a long time. And then we saw on our screens the first images and all of a sudden you know all of us were flabbergasted. When we saw the, the channels you know, and, and the shore-like shape in the images. We were just so thrilled. We, we, we looked to, we couldn't believe, you know, what we were seeing. This was so much more than anything that we had hoped for. It was just fantastic. Titan turns out to have considerable resources. Right, well, on Earth, you know, what's precious these days very much is um, space, Right? This is precious because we're growing, uh, humankind is growing in number, and also fuel, you know, you see what petrol costs like these days. And on Titan you don't have oxygen, you have very little water, and it's a little bit cold, I'll admit that. But on the other hand, you've got hydrocarbons in the atmosphere and on the surface, you probably have lakes filled with hydrocarbons, so lots of fuel, lots of petrol there. So I think Titan does have a lot of precious resources. Um, it also may have a lot of minerals. We haven't yet discovered what's under the ground. But there are a lot of things to, um, to lead us to think that Titan's a very interesting place. That's why we started the exploration there. How do we get there? We need a lot of energy because we're going all the way out to Saturn, 10 astronomical units. But the energy today that we're thinking of mostly seems to be solar energy. We have solar panels and we have new uh, photovoltaic iodes that can provide and capture at the same time all this energy and use it with space missions today or space cities in the future when we want to live in space or if we want to live on another planet or the moon. We can use the solar energy very much, I think. What's going to be the driving force? What's going to make us go? I think what's going to make us go is that our planet cannot handle, first of all, the way we're using it, second of all, the way we're populating it. There's, there's too many of us here and we're using up all the resources that we have. Um, so eventually we're going to have to find new places for this kind of resources that we need. Also, um, the humankind needs to colonize space. I mean, look how we colonized the Earth. Uh, if we didn't have this spirit of adventure, we wouldn't have gone to the Americas and we wouldn't have explored the whole planet, right? We're going to have to explore our own solar system and colonize it in the right sense of the term, not destroying anything, but move to other planets eventually. Speculating, perhaps toward the end of the century, what would you suggest is, uh, is going to happen? Given how fast, you know, um, we're working today with communications, for instance, I'm amazed at how communications with cell phones and how computers and emails are evolving. I think communication will be such an easy thing, you know, in the future. And towards the end of the century, I'm hoping that the communication will also be visible through space. Transportation, communication, space missions, the exploration of our own solar system, heading towards exoplanets, those are the planets that exist outside our own, 
you know, solar system. We're heading in all of those directions. But for me, the most important thing is really to start heading out towards space, explore the solar system, have new space missions in the future. Cities in space, orbiting power stations, science fiction? Uh, I don't think so, not anymore. I think we're moving within the next 20 or 40 years, somewhere in there. We're going to have to move, leave the planet and, and move into space. Um, space cities, I, I think it's coming. I think it's coming in the next two or three decades. We're going to have to move out there.